Hey y'all, hey Manta here, and welcome to my weekly recap video. Da 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 da! <laughs> and I hope you had a great week. My weekly recap video, if you've never watched one before, is basically where I tell you about all the stickers I used this week in case there's one in particular you want to get your hands on. And I link to all of the shops that I mentioned down below in the bottom bar, as well as including any coupon codes I might have for them. And also I talk to you a little bit about how effective certain things I did in this week were. So, let's get started because I absolutely love this week. It is probably one of my favorite weeks ever. I love the color scheme, I love leaves, I love acorns, I love everything cutesy and fall and adorable. And yes, I absolutely love this week. So, I guess we'll start on the sidebar. So the box sticker as well as all of the full boxes across the middle here are from the uh, Pink Popsicle Studio set that I was using for this week, which is adorable and I absolutely loved it and I'm so glad I had it and I hope some of you took advantage of the one week only coupon code that Pink Popsicle Studio had given me and Sarah Plans, who I did a collab video with on this week. Um, I'll link her video down below so you can see how her week turned out um, at the beginning of the week when she first planned it. So, I love it. This set is adorable. It's freaking awesome. Someone just beeped their horn outside, so hopefully that wasn't distracting. Anyway, almost all of the decorative... Seriously, what the fuck is that person doing? Stop beeping. Jesus. Okay. Almost all of the decorative elements are from that Pink Popsicle Studio set. Or a Pink Popsicle Studio sheet of leaves that I had bought separately. So that's where you can find almost every single decorative element. And I will point out which elements are not from that set. For example, this apple here is a Sweet Kawaii Design apple. As well as this one. And that little leaf right there was from a freebie from Kitten Plans, as well as that pumpkin. And this pie is for Sweet Kawaii Design too. And anything else we'll mention as we go. So, really, really loved this set. This box right here, which is covering the little flag that's right there, is from the Pink Popsicle Studio set. The Facebook sticker and the blog sticker are from Have a Parade, which is another shop that has amazing quality stuff. You should check them out. The dots are from a Delightful Lemon set. And what I have to say about Delightful Lemon is if you love Libby & Co. stickers, but you want more of a matte finish, I swear her stickers feel just like Libby & Co., only matte. I can't tell you how it's done. It's sticker voodoo. I just love it. So she has some cute sets as well. And I want to say that's a freebie from her, but I'm not 100% sure. I really loved the idea of tracking my packages over here, but it turned out I just didn't get a lot this week. But I really liked that idea. And this kept me in line part of the week, and then I just fell off because I got so busy. But, you know, what are you going to do? I tried. I really liked it in theory. This glitter box is from Planner, Planner Rocket. The Hydrate stickers, which I wasn't doing great getting all the way there last week, unfortunately. But these cute Hydrate stickers are from Sunday Palm Planner. And the stickers I wrote my work hours on are from the back of the book, the new Erin um, Condren. Those are two of the colors that come in here. And then the Payday stickers I used are from Libby & Co. The Kawaii Coffee Cups I used are from Sweet Kawaii Design. This little pumpkin one was a freebie. I don't know where it was from. I just cut it out of a sheet. But this little pumpkin one, which is almost exactly the same, was also a freebie. And that was from the Kitten Plans freebie sheet that had been going on with her, purchase, with her purchases recently. The first day of fall sticker is from the Pink Popsicle Studio set as well. And the dollar sign is Scribble Prints Co. on top of a sticker from Have a Parade. The little header is from the Pink Popsicle Studio set. And then this red box sticker is from Have a Parade. The taco is from 
a freebie sheet from Stickerific. And then this little grocery cart is from the sample sheet from One Orange Snowflake. And then the flag right next to it is from Scribble Prints Co. This little weight was just a random freebie I had floating around. I'm not sure where that one's from. My TV stickers. Oh my god, what the heck was that noise? Okay, random noise just went off in my house and it freaked me out. Well, my apartment. Anyway, my TV stickers, which I absolutely love and adore and cherish, are all from Facey Shop. He has the best TV stickers. You need to check them out. The headers are all from the Pink Popsicle Studio set, except for... Um, no, yeah, this blank one is too. This one, the, the To Clean one, is from the Delightful Lemon set. The heart checklists are from this set, and I didn't really utilize it on Wednesday. Wednesday we ended up going down to um, the city and hanging out because it was a friend's birthday. The trash can sticker is from Scribble Prints Co., and so are this spoon and fork. The Libby & Co., well, the baseball stickers are from Libby & Co., is what I meant to say, and then the Wacky Holiday stickers are from the Alex Studio. I get a lot of questions about them, so I'm going to explain it here. Alex Studio includes Wacky Holiday stickers in her monthly subscriptions, and I do usually purchase the monthly subscription to show on the channel here in a video. You can um, go back and check some of them out if you'd like, but they are for sale in the monthly subscription. I don't believe she retails them individually. And the monthly subscription for the Hog Studio is sold between the 1st and the 15th of every month. So just in case you guys were interested in them, that's where I get them. And she is going to be reformatting them so they're not going to be these little circles anymore. Which I kind of really like little circles. So that's kind of sad. Do you hear these damn cars outside beeping? That is so annoying. Anyway, back over to Tuesday. So this little um, flag right here actually came on the Pink Popsicle Studio set. There was like a little space on one of the sheets that it needed to be filled up, so I guess she made a flag. This little box right here is Have a Parade with a Scribble Prince Co. icon. This icon... I don't know, I think I just had a random dollar sign icon floating around. Whenever I get little freebie sheets, I just cut them up and put them in my binder in the sections they go in. So I don't always remember where they're from. But I just went ahead and wrote when the header <laughs> that we need to pick a Powerball ticket. And we didn't win, just so y'all know. We're still broke as hell, but whatever. <laughs> the candy corn is from Pop Fizz Paper. And I just wrote Halloween store on a little, um, a little header type sticker from a facey shop. I think it might be like a sampler sheet or a freebie sheet or something. I don't remember. And then the play button is from Planning with Daisy. This Welcome Autumn sticker is from one of the monthly kits from uh, Sweet Kawaii Design. I don't remember which one. It probably was the September one, I'm guessing. Um, and then we have this flag here, which is from Scribble Prints Co. with the little clock from Scribble Prints Co. All of these little stickers from Scribble Prints Co. that I'm mentioning are from the October monthly kit, I believe. And then we have these two watering cans from Planning with Daisy. This Muscle Up sticker is from Facey Shop. And then I just filled in with some of the decorative elements. The birthday sticker is from the back of the Erin Condren book. This edition, not the previous one. This little asterisk is from Scribble Prints Co. on top of a box from this Pink Popsicle Studio set. The workout flag is from Oh So Pretty Planner. And then the baseball you'll see here is not where it usually is because Monday's game was postponed. So it was made up on Thursday, and I already had this apple here, and I didn't want to move it. So that's why the baseball sticker is out of place. Once again, another asterisk sticker. My computer was not working on Friday at work, and it was just bugging me, and I wanted to remember just in case I needed to know that for a reference because I couldn't really do a ton of work. So that is from Scribble Prints Co. The credit card sticker is actually from Pink Popsicle Studio, I believe. And then that's on top of a Have a Parade sticker. 
and then the little shopping bag is from Scribble Prints Co. One top of another sticker from this set from Pink Popsicle Studio. This today's sticker is from Pink Popsicle Studio as well as the banner right here, the apple picking header, the little header that's kind of underneath of it. The go to an apple orchard, which we did knock off the list on Saturday. That is from the Oh Hello Stationery Co. Um, monthly subscription and just a heads up guys it's going to be retailing on their website now not in their Etsy shop so just a heads up if that is something that you guys like don't look for it on the first of the month in the Etsy shop look for it in their new website so heads up for that these balloons are weft in olive too on top of once again a box from this pink popsicle studio set and then this little cupcake is from a freebie sheet from Planet Out Loud. And I used two of them, as you can see. And then, well, I just love how the cupcake really fit the color scheme, too. So it was kind of perfect for this week. And then we have this beer mug from Weft and Olive, too. And I had to use two weekend banners this week because this one had apples on it. It was in my apple picking week. It's so cute, right? And this is from, I believe, My Little Chickadee Co. And so over here we have Planner's Gonna Plan, which I believe is a sticker from one of the Oh Hello Stationery Co. Maybe one of their freebie sheets, I think. I'm not 100% certain on that. The laptop is from Papered Love. The clapper... I've been told is called, is from Libby and Co. on top. These are two boxes right here from the Pink Popsicle Studio sheet. I don't remember where that football is from. That might be Planet Out Loud. And then the Raven's Helmet is Rory's Sweet Addiction. And then we've kind of covered all these. I think this was like either a Planner Girls or My Little Chickadee Co. freebie or sampler sheet. Not 100% certain on the washing machine. But that's everything. I really, really, really loved this week. I've just, I loved all of my September weeks. I think I was killing it this month. Like, oh, I loved all of them. So cool. And so the video is already up, but this is the week I'm working with now. I did not have this in there, so I did go ahead and put in those TV shows because I decided to continue watching them. But, yeah. That's how that week goes. I mean, it's just half a day into that week so not really too much to share there but yeah I loved this week I think it's gorgeous I love the color scheme I love the set I love Pink Popsicle Studio um, I love everything about this so if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to stick around for a while hit that subscribe button and um, if you have any comments or questions leave them down below I'll leave links to all of these shops as well as coupon codes for any of them that I do have. And I have links to all my recent blog posts down below. And I believe that's all I need to tell you guys. Thank you so much. Sorry, I started thanking you guys and then I had to burp. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.